Hey, Menace. Menace is sleepy. A hairless sphinx. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Highway Ghost. Tonight I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we're going to be going to the dark market that is actually themed My Bloody Valentine. So let's go check it out. This is Jaded Oddities. Rotating skull. Is that a cat? Uh, that's a bobcat. Bobcat, nice. What kind of eyeballs? Uh, so I've got five pair, I've got two cats, I've got a Dotson puppy, um, I believe <laughs> I have a goat, and another dog. That's awesome. It's all right. Oh. I like the alligator. Looks like he's in a swamp. They're doing tarot readings. Check her out. Heady Hardware. I like it. My video don't get flagged for copyrighted music. It'll be on YouTube at Highway Ghost. So, so this is them. Check them out. Nice. So you make all these? These are cool. I like the Reaper. Wow, I bet that took forever. Don't fear the rug. That's badass. <laughs> So what's your company? Uh, it's like a big sign on like a big sign. This is your business card? Wickedstuff.com. Wicked stuff? Wicked tough. Wicked tough, okay. Megan's on the way. Check them out, man. This is the Black Cats booth. They're out of Oneida, Tennessee. I did videos at their shop. Check them out in their Roadside and Oddities playlist. Old keys. Cranium cap. Piranha. Nice. Is that a stingray? Wow. Got your noggin. That's cool. Not as cool as the skull though, that is neat.
That's going to be a cool event coming up in September, hosted by the Black Cat. Badger. This is a really cool Wednesday, Adams. That's cute. It's Halloween in Possum Town. Now you're oddly Appalachia. You do it like clay. Very cool. I like that. That's cool. Wow, that's neat. Do you have a business car, bro? Thank you, sir. Check him out. Oddly Appalachia out of Knoxville, Tennessee. The one and only. The one and only, man. Name. It's a Tyranny Photography. Tyranny? T-R-D. Oh, T-R-D. Where can people find you at that didn't make it? Wow. Ricky Davis, not Ricky Bobby, right? <laughs> Good. Yeah, man. Good meeting you, brother. Keep on shooting. So, Orange Blossom Tattoo. Uh, you guys that are out of Knoxville? We are in Powell. Powell? Okay, that's not far out. So, is this, this your husband's art? Yeah, that's his I like the American Psycho, and and is this you? Yeah, I like this don't play. And then these oh. are all just drawings of groups that we've done. Wow, this is really cool. Nice. Cool. I'm going to check out those. This is the horror ones. I do more of like the Bob Ross type thing. I love some Bob Ross too, man. Yeah. And then I made like some ornaments and magnets. These are great. Thank you. So where can people find you that didn't make it? So Instagram and Facebook is like the best way because we All have right. a private, our tattoo studio is a private uh, house that's like on our lot. Um, and we're, so we're appointment only. I like your Lost Boy stuff. It's like my favorite. Of course, I like it all. Well, very cool. Thank you so much. I'll give you a shout out. Check them out, people. Orange Blossom Tattoo. So this is Menace. Hey, Menace. Menace is sleepy. A hairless sphinx. How old is Menace? Hey. You feel like velvet. <laughs> you guys have a good night. If you'd like to say anything, um, this is Purple Sage, right? Yes. Now, you do aura and chakra photo sessions. People yes. may not understand what that's about. Um, so, the um, aura is your electromagnetic energy. Um, it's basically like a personality test without having to answer questions. Um, the color above your head is like your default personality. Uh -huh. um, you're, you've got like the colors that you're receiving are like your environmental energy, and then also the other colors that suggest is how like other people would feel your energy. Oh wow! Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So you have like a little photo booth, yeah, and you can capture an aura for people. So let me get your card here. Now, where can people find you at? Okay, so you're out of Knoxville here? Yep. Well, cool. I'm going to do this next time. Um, 
Do you usually do the dark market or anywhere else? Okay. So they can follow you. Let's get that QR scan. Well, cool. Thank you. It's a rare talent to do that. All right, cool. Well, there you have it, folks. The February edition of the Dark Market here in Knoxville, Tennessee, at High Wire Brewing. It's an annual event. They have it quarterly, so I'll be back to as many of those as time allows. But I hope you've enjoyed watching. And I'm going to do um, an oddity review from the Dark Market, so we're going to get to that next. But if you ever have a chance to check it out, it's a, it's a very interesting event. And I love coming to these. Very, very cool. Quite a good turnout tonight, even though it was, you know, a rainy night in February, but the 2024 My Bloody Valentine was, was quite fun, and I picked up some cool oddities. So let's go ahead and get to that and show you what I got to add to the never-ending collection of the Highway Ghost. Okay, that was the My Bloody Valentine edition of the Dark Market in Knoxville, Tennessee. And as promised, I wanted to show you a few oddities and collectibles that I picked up at the event. I didn't get a lot of stuff because I've got several different places that I plan to do some shopping at in the oncoming days. But I did get some pretty cool stuff. This is an old hearse flag or funeral flag. It appears to be probably, from the looks of it, from the 50s or 60s but it's quite worn it's been through a lot of funerals but I'm gonna frame it it's very very cool I have one of these that's you know the more modern orange and white but this is this is cool this is super faded I love it but the next thing is this big gigantic rabbit skull and I've seen a lot of rabbits and on display you know like taxidermy with their bones and stuff but this is a honker I mean according to the guy I got this from he know a guy that found it out west and I'm thinking it's probably a jackrabbit I mean that is super jack right there but it's cool looking I wish it had the bottom piece but either way it's cool like it just looks neat looks like almost like spider webs they're in the nasal passage but and that's super cool chomp chomp and over here is a couple of more pieces to my um, uranium glass collection that I added last night at the dark market I collect uranium glass and if you don't know anything about uranium glass it's basically also called depression glass it was made back during the time of the Great Depression it was you know died with elements that are radioactive and at the time they didn't know it was you know as dangerous to use in common housewares it was mostly used in stuff in the nuclear facilities and stuff of the nuclear plants and products or whatever weapons of war but I got this plate which is really cool looking and there's a single marble I have a few other marbles so I added that to the collection and there's this cool looking cup it's almost like a sherbet cup but you can see the green tone which is the uranium and it looks really cool under a black light so with that being said let's let's give you a little look at this cool looking glass I gotta go dark for a second. Black light. You guys ready for it? Check that out. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. That marble looks really good too. But yeah, this is awesome. 
stuff's getting harder and harder to find. I usually pick mine up at thrift stores and places like that, but like I said, harder and harder to find more collectors. But yeah, it glows beautifully under a black light. I've got enough now that I'm going to start like trying to display it in a curio cabinet, but that's just really cool looking. Well, there you have it, guys. That was my oddity haul from the 2024 Dark Market in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm the Howie Ghost. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Strange Travels.